Today we are going to be drawing a cake with a slice taken out. And this is going to be for our square one art. So we're going to make sure that we leave a border or an edge so that we don't draw too close and it'll get cut off. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to draw a long oval shape. Kind of like a hot dog shape, but don't get too close to the edge. So it's gonna be a long hot dog. So think of it as a hot dog because we're going to be making a cylinder. I'm drawing really lightly. Hopefully you can see it on the camera because part of this I'm going to erase, okay? So it just looks like a hot dog. Then my cylinder ah. is going to have two sides down. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm here with my daughter Hazel. She's six years old and if she can do this, you can do it. That looks like a great hot dog right there. All right, there's a little shadow right there on your paper. That's from the camera. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw two lines on either side of that hot dog. Vertical lines going straight down, okay? I draw, draw this kind of cake mm -hmm. And again, we're doing it lightly because we might have to erase it and make a mistake. That's why we're using a pencil first. So, so far, it just looks like a normal cylinder. And I'm leaving some space. Wait, Ma. I'm waiting. Okay, it's okay if you don't draw it too dark yet because we might have to erase part of it. Okay. I know mine is a little bit sketchy. You see how when I'm drawing, I'm sketching. So that means I kind of go around my shape a couple of times. And when I'm happy with my shape, then I'll erase some of those extra lines. Now for the bottom of my cylinder, instead of drawing a straight line to close my, my uh, cake shape, I want to draw a curved line. That will help the illusion of this being a three-dimensional shape. So we're going to take this line and draw a curve, slightly curved line that connects to the other side. So it's not just a straight line. And again, I can go in and kind of fix some of those lines that I don't like and erase anything. My pencil didn't have an eraser. No, Mama, mm -hmm. you can use the other one I gave I know. you. Yep, that's what I'm using. No, you're not using <laughs> that one. That one okay. over there. Now remember, this piece, I'm going to draw my cake with a piece already taken out. So I'm going to draw a dot right in the middle of the flat part of my cake, or the top of my cake. Then I'm going to draw a triangle, so a diagonal line coming from that dot, and then the other diagonal line might be a little bit longer to another side of the cake. Very good. Now I need to draw a vertical, which is an up and down line that goes all the way down to the bottom of my cake. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the other part of that triangle. Now it's starting to make a three-dimensional illusion. Right now it just looks like we cut the cake, but we want to have an empty space in here to make it look like we took that piece out. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line from the bottom of this further line here. So this line here. I'm going to draw a diagonal line that just touches the other side. Very good. Now we need to do some erasing. So I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase this line here. Wait. And we also need to erase this line right here. Okay, so that will complete the illusion that we have taken out that slice. I'm actually going to round the top of my cake a little bit more. I think it's too flat at the top. 
So as an artist, you can always make any of those changes. If you don't think that your cake looks round enough, you might want to make some adjustments to it. You're the artist. All right, so right now it looks like a big wedge of cheese. You need to decorate your cake so it looks delicious and sweet. I'm going to add some layers in my cake. So this line right here, I'm just going to repeat it going the same direction. These two lines going the same direction. I'm going to... And I'll make another one in here. So there's like maybe some Frosting. cream. Yeah, some cream in there. I'm going to put some candles on it though. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to have some drippy... That's what I try to do after oh. my. <laughs> we can do kind of the same thing. And again, you can erase any details that you want. Do something. Like, oh, actually, I think I kind of need that line, but just lightly. <clears throat> Mine will have strawberries on top. Have to be mindful of any areas that need erasing because it's overlapping. I want my strawberries to look like they're on top, so I'll have to erase that cake line that goes through them. That's why it's important to draw lightly. If you draw too dark, you might notice that when you try to erase it, you can still see it. So it's, it's a lot. <laughs> so it's about controlling your the strength that's in your hand. Nothing else on the cake on top of there. Mm, I don't think so. Mm. Right, we don't want to get too close to the edge right there. Okay. I think that's it. Then I'm going to draw a table line. So I'm drawing a line that goes to the middle of my cake and continues to the other side. If you want to put your cake on a little stand, you can always draw an oval around the bottom of your cake. Mm. Three candles. So I put mine on a plate now. I put three candles on there. Mm -hmm. Now you don't need to add too many other details. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trace mine with a marker to make a nice coloring page. Something else you want to add once you start tracing with your black marker is your name. But please don't add your name close to the edge of the paper. Remember this is for our square one sticker project. So you want to add it near your main image, which is our cake. I'm going to put mine right on my plate. And of course, you can always add the date too, or the year. So I'm going to write 2022 on the other side. And now all I have left to do is erase some of those extra pencil lines and then color it in with anything from the drawing studio. <laughs> 